Hi guys, we're back at Smash Fishing. It's currently quite a windy day and we're tucked behind some gullies and we're going after abalone and clams. So stay tuned, hopefully we can get some big ones. It's Smash Fishing, baby, woo! Beauty, nice colours on that. It's got blue and red on it. Easily in. Hopefully we can flip it and see if we can get some more. Definitely a keeper that one. Nothing else in there. But we got another one, that's what it's all about, baby. Beauty of an armor. Just in this little pool, guys. Just goes to show you can start really racking them up. I have three down already in this one pool. I'm gonna work my way through with these little stones in between. And hopefully, we can get a good bag full. Not a bad start at all. Three almonds down, one big one. We've still got loads of rocks in this big pool to go. I'm really high up the beach, so I know no one ever comes here. So I'm pretty much sport for choice at the moment. Just running my hand along here, guys. There is an orma just tucked in the side of the rock here. I can't feel any more. There's definitely one there. There we go. Another beauty of an armor. They're really pretty in this pool. And they're all in by a long way as well. What a beauty. That's why it's always worth just going along a big boulder like that, just to run your hand along. Make sure there's no lobsters. You can end up with a few warmers. Definite keeper there. Oh, beauty of a rock. Look at that. Another beauty. Put that one aside. Oh, another beauty. Nothing but chunky ormas. Woohoo! Finding loads of them, guys. I'll bring the rock over in a minute and give you a shot. Oh, one jumbo saw there. That one might be in. Woo! There's ormas everywhere in the pool, baby. Guys, look how many ormas are there, look. Finding loads of them. Just need my hook. I think they're all in, but. Oh, hard work this ormer in. 
That one's definitely in. Look how much that one's in. That's a buster, that one. Then we got this one. That one's in. We might have two keepers on this. That big one's definitely in. We're just loading up in this one spot. What about that one? And that one is out. So I'll stick this rock back carefully, guys. We're on to the next set of rocks. Hopefully we can get well out of here. We're finding loads. Come on, you beautiful. Oh, nothing but big ormers around here though. Great to see. There's another one. Got it. Loading up on the ormers. Nothing at all. There's a big void under that way. <sighs> Not one armor. <sighs> Woo! Got a big old bag of armors already. Just in this one rock pool, it just goes to show, knowing your little spots like this definitely pays off. Oh, big Ormer. Oh yeah. That's a nice one. I expected more on that. Heave ho, heave ho. Oh, that's a big stone. Oh, beauty. Just a little flat rock at the bottom of the pool there. That's another lovely one. Oh, just a bit under that one. on there. One buster, two busters, and a just about keeper I reckon. Look at that for a rock. Three keeper almonds under there. Beautiful. Seems to be tons of almonds around, around this time of year. There we go. Perfectly in. Come on, let's go start picking up some of these big boulders and hopefully we can start finding a few more. Another one down. Down, down, and now, now. Yep, he's in. 
They've missed a big patch round here, that's for sure. They're all really pretty today, these ormers. Look at that, the oranges on there, the pinks. Crazy to see. There seems to be a massive abundance of them. Bad enough for picking up stones now, guys. We've got quite a lot of them now. So what I'm gonna do is I'm gonna work my way back to the shore edge. I'm gonna be cricking on the way. Hopefully we can find a few more warmers, but if not, we're gonna be clamming, baby. You can see a lobster in here, guys. I don't know how big it is though. Just here, look at that. <laughs> see if I can move him around a bit. Got him. There we go. First Larry of the day, just under a rock. Nice to see, but definitely not big enough. Whew. Hard day today. Heavyweight. Right, let's tuck this back. Hopefully we can get a bigger one. Check this out, guys. That's called whelk eggs. They come in big clusters. You find these washing up on the shores in spring. Really cool. Just started digging up a few clams here, guys. Nice sized razors. I'm trying to get as much bait as I can at the moment. So we're gonna go on a little mission. And what I'm looking for, you've got the keyhole shaped holes and the round ones. The keyhole shape will be razor clam. The round ones will be the gapers. Oh, that's a beauty. Big old razor, that one. size razor there. And another one. Lovely big one there. Oh yeah, another big one. Two out of that one. Lovely size razors on this beach. Can't go wrong with that. Great food, great bit of bait. We met up with Cow here, guys. Just over there. He's been digging some bait for his gill head fishing. He's got a few gaper clams in there, a few razors. Some nice chunky ones as well. Nice juicy one. There you go guys. Little baby gaper clam there. Not big enough for what we need. So I'll put that one back. Just gonna measure our ormers here, guys. Always like to do it just for uh, argument's sake so we don't end up getting done. I think, I'm pretty sure all of these are in because we've got some busters as well. They've all been a really good stamp of armor. I gave five away before as well to an older gentleman. And we've got a few razors there as well. So we've got one, two, Three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten, eleven. We got eleven ormers all together. 
We did have 16 then. But look how pretty that one is. What a beautiful warmer. So 11 warmers, happy days. My old man's gonna enjoy a few of those.